Pat Stay, Sucker Free Boss. Legend, man. I did this blog a couple of times. The first four times I tried to do it, didn't work. I got upset. Had to get this whole hour and a half workout in to just talk normal. Like, I feel like I could breathe better. I feel like I could think better. I feel like, like I tell y'all all the time, man, working out and about old big muscles or a six pack or getting girls or guys or whatever you're in. Bro, it's just therapeutic. Feels good to get a sweat out. I feel like stresses leave your body. Um, I feel like overall, just you think more clearer. You know what I mean? It's, it, you know, instead of you having this built up anger or sadness, <clears throat> you get to like work out and, um, and it just leaves for at least a moment. Um, I also want to say that anyone out there who's feeling this pain, feeling this loss, or anyone who's ever dealt with a loss or, or, or pain of, of the magnitude of a, of, a, of a loved one being gone, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel like you don't know what to do. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. It's, you're human. You're just a person. I understand, you know, you have a lot of stresses and, and life gets tough. But there's one thing I'll say about life of whoever's able to sit here and watch this right now. And everything that's going on right now with this past day situation, you're here still. You still have a chance right now to make your life better, to go for the dreams that you feel like are too tough, to go for the goals that are being, that, 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 that seem so far away, to make amends with people who you truly do care about, but you're just sticking to your pride or being too cool. Or, or, or being embarrassed to go for what you truly want to go for. Or be who you truly want to be. Worrying about other people. Other people's opinions. You know who never worried about other people's opinions? Pat Stay. I spoke to Pat Stay often. I met him back on the um, when he did the Arsenal rematch. The way I met him was even incredible. Like there's like a, um, we in Canada and there's like a, there's a lobby there's a lobby um, um, restaurant, and I'm waiting to go in. There's like a wait. There's no available tables. And past day, never seen them before in person. You know, tweets here and there, and, and, and I've been honored and 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 have the pleasure to say, believe it or not, a lot of people and leagues wanted me and past day to battle. They felt like I had something that that reminded them of him. Now we all know I would have got smoked, of course. But just the, 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 that compliment alone, and of course it comes from the jokey aspect. And let's be honest here, my talent never really soared above many people. But my, my personality did. That's so why people would say they like me as a blogger better than um, a battle rapper. And it was funny, at a point in life I thought that was offensive. Because I just wanted to be such a good battle rapper. But then I realized being a blogger is a better compliment because this is the real me. The real me, the, the real me that Pat stays seeing, that I've seen of him. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but jokes on our conversations. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm taking a different route on this. I was upset before, and I could just think about the wrong thing right now and upset myself again. I'm trying not to do that because maybe we should, we need some happy moments for someone who had the pleasure to know him just this much in comparison to what I bet many other people knew him. And I bet there's many other people who had a ton more stories with him. But me personally, you know, I have a few you know, there'll be a couple I'll keep to myself because that's special to me, dear to me. But I'll tell you the way I met Past Day, you know, um, he's coming out the bathroom of this of this um of this restaurant. I'm waiting and he just walks up to me as if we know each other already. Like, yo, Jims, what up? I'm like, yo, Pat, what's going on? I'm like, he's like, yo, what you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm waiting to go in. There's a wait or whatever. He's like, nah, you're in right now. Let's go. I'm like, but we out. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even second guess. Like, oh, are you sure? That ain't who I am. Like, oh, we're oh, we we in here. Boom, so I'm walking in. He's like, yeah, yo, da da da, how's everything? I'm like, yeah, chilling, boom, boom. He's like, you battling tomorrow? Like, that. he has no idea. Like, he's like, he's just like, I'm like, yeah, you know, just, you know, Sharon or, you know, whatever, big decade card. It's supposed to be a good, you would think, you know, I was on it. Do you even know 
down. How do you know my name? You know what I'm saying? It's like his past days. Who he was? He didn't. He wasn't on people for that. He said, you know, fast forward. He knew me because of moments. Like he said he doesn't watch battles like that. I really believe him. You know what I mean? Damn sure wasn't watching mine. But he was why You know, he seen like a few of the, the chicken nuggets or the soap or whatnot that I did, and like you know, he thought that was funny. He's like, oh, this guy's this guy's hilarious. You know, that's who he was. He was attracted to things like that. Not like, oh, he has bars. He never was that kind of person. So we walk over to his table and there's two people there and it's not even battle rappers or nothing. It's his homies back from his neighborhood on some like, yo, this is Jim's, whatever. He's going to rock with us. You know what I'm saying? He's going to, you know, trying to get some food. Boom, boom. Like, yo, all right, cool. They embrace me just like he did. Um, you know, and then, you know, it's history from there. You know what I mean? We in there for like two hours. Like Arsenal comes walking through with him and his crew and yo, what up? Da -da -da. They start talking back and forth. But you could see Arsenal was like trying to keep it serious because they was about to battle the next day, but you also could see the friendship in his seriousness. Like, yeah, you know, Mar, I'm a Smokey, but you seen it was more giggly than anything, which was dope, you know, to see their bond with each other. And then, um, you know, the next, you know, then, you know, we chopping up that he's like, oh, what you about to do now? It's like, oh, nah, you know, I'm about, you know, I'm about to just go back to the room or whatnot, you know, the day before the battle, the nerves or, or, or whatnot. And he's like, oh, I was like, what you gonna do? He's like, oh, I'm about to do the same. I gotta get this third together. I'm like, what? It's so funny when you hear things like that. It's always the elite level battlers that do that. I've seen Charlie Clips do it. I've seen DNA do it. I've seen, um, past they do it people literally like these are people who i'm in front of okay sean is a rehearsing workhorse you know what i mean he always has his 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 his, his bars down pat shotgun should be rehearsing the day of i don't know how they be doing it but they do it past day one of them but he's the headliner which i just thought was hilarious just so nonchalant with it you know whatever the battle goes down and then after the battle he's like yo um we, you know, as a bunch of people, we ended up like relocating with each other inside. And he's like, yo, Jens, da -da -da, what's good? What's going on? He's like, yo, man, I, I was like, he's like, yo, he's like, yo, I had a mean ass stomach ache from that food. How about you? I'm like, bro, bro I've been uh, shitting all morning. And like, and it was funny, like, we just had like a tit for tat kind of like yin, yin, yang kind of thing. You know, it's yin, yin, yang, not tit for tat. And it's like, boom, we get drinks. And like I said, man, it's like, I miss him. Like, I miss him knowing he's not here no more. I miss him. So, like, I'm going into, like, unnecessary detail, and I know it. I know how it sounds. I can hear myself talking, but I do. It's, it's, it's. I had a joint lined up that night. I rather had, I chilled the past day instead. I still seen her, though. I told her I was just going to be a few hours. She ended up, like, waiting for, like, six hours later in the room or whatnot real trooper I appreciate her but i appreciate the time with with pat i'm telling him about that he's like yeah forget about that you're with the why why go to your room with a girl you're with a bunch of guys right now this is what life is about right here and it's like it, it's he had that like funny personality man like you know what i mean like i don't want to use certain i want to use certain words to youtube but you gotta know what i mean when i say yo we had so many pause worthy conversations they were the greatest conversations that we just joke about stuff like that you know what i mean it's like he's anyone who knows him knows exactly what i'm talking about you know what i mean um i even tweeted earlier that a bunch of people who knew him bro you know i was like past they would be like you're so gay right now for being upset you know about me passing but we are man and you know he's just a great person like a good um just a good spirit i love people like that you know in the world there's so much negativity and, and things of that nature and um to be around someone that just had good energy like that. And um, he was one of them. You know, we always, we had this joke about battle rap. It's funny, he calls me one day, you know, he's always started mid-sentence and they were like, hey, how are you doing? Nothing, he'd be like, yo, so you know what I was thinking, right? I'm like, what's going on? He'd be like, so I feel like, you know how battle rap is so like tough and everyone's so tough and things like that and gangster this and da da da. I was like, yeah, he's like, but you know what really, we're, we're all really, I'm gonna say pause worthy. You know the word I'm, I want to use, right? We're all really pause worthy people, actually. And I'm like, what you mean? He's like, well, think about it. We're actually the biggest pause and pause worthy people in the world because just think about you get an opponent and you're just thinking about another man for months. Every day I'm just thinking about this man, his life, what he likes, what he don't like, what he's into, how uh, how he does this, how he wears that, how he says this. His, it's like this man it just consumes my entire life for months till I just can't wait to be in front of this man and be done with this man. You know, the best feeling after battles is when you're done. I mean, the best feeling of a battle is when you're done with it, but like you're just, oh, I'm done with this man now, on to the next man. It is, yo, I'm telling you, it is the funniest thing. That conversation, like us going back and forth, we are both in tears 
making jokes like along that line. And it was he was just one of those people. He was one of those, you could let your guard down. You could just joke. It's not someone who's gonna judge you. And it's just, it's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? And um, even that, back to the night I was telling y'all about, um, like I said, a lot happened that night. Um, Organic and Gully would remember this night because we came into their penthouse when, cause he had like a organic had like this big penthouse. They were having like an after party, but we showed up mad late because we went out to eat and have drinks. And I'm like, yo, you think we should pull up? Like, and people be saying, like, nah, nah, trust me, they're still partying, which they were. It was live in there. I think A Ward was there, but a bunch of people was there. And when we went in there, um, uh, you know, we're chilling and, and and we're cooling out. And you know, I know uh, organic like walked up to us like, oh, yo, like pointed at us. You know what I mean? Because I was telling him, yeah, you know, like people wanted us to battle. Thought it'd be a good battle. He's like, oh man, I can't battle. He's like, I like you. So like, I don't like anyone in battle rap. Please, let's just be friends instead. <laughs> a dream battle turned my friend. You know, turned turned into a friendship. I totally agreed. And um, it's funny, you know, down the line, um, we, um, you know, I post my kids a lot and, you know, he has a, um, a, a son, his birthday, his birthday, his birthday just passed or whatnot. And he, um, ah, man. He was like, yo, we should, um, he's like, yo, we should, remember when people were saying that we should battle or whatnot? He was like, yo, we should, we should do like a, um, like not a compliment battle, but like a, um, um, like, yo, first round, I diss you on uh, why you're a bad dad and you diss me while I'm a bad dad and second round, you, co I'll compliment you and, and compliment me back or whatever the case may be. And it was like, that was a dope idea. And we didn't do it, of course. And um, it was just, uh, he's just a good person. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, and I feel for him. And I feel for his family. And I feel for everybody who showed him love. And if you didn't know him, but you, he affected you in some, you know, past day was like a... a I, I know I don't, um, I never do edits or anything like that. The video got cut. I just need it in a minute. I'm just like, you know, I just don't want to be that. There's so many other people that have so much more love and so much more pain in them for what's going on. And I don't mean I don't have to feel pain or show love. I'm, I'm just like, I don't want this to be like that. I don't want, I, I want y'all to know Past Day was a great person. He was always great to me. He's always there for a laugh, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's, it's a tragic situation. And my heart goes out to him and his family. And um, it, it's, it's a big hurt for battle rap. And I just, um, I love how everyone's just writing positive things about him. We should just keep the positivity up. I'm just hurt because I can't, like it's hard for me to think about the family part, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit is mad painful to me. That shit is mad painful to me. That shit like cracks my, my, my voice a little bit. And like a like a horror wait for me, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, like it's not like I could fight it coming out, but like I'm crying inside, you know what I'm saying? And I don't I don't want this blog to be like that. I know he wouldn't want it to be like that. So I just want to say um thank you for um all the all the laughs, man, all the good times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he's like, yeah, I'm down for this compliment battle. You want to share a milkshake, like. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'll be like, oh, I'm up at the cabin or whatnot. You know, I take the kids up a lot. Everybody knows that about me. I go to my cabin to like protect my peace. And he's like, oh, that's great, bro. Like, um, do you ever like seen any like, do you ever wonder if like dares, deers be getting in with the bears? Like, this is who he was. Every response, every answer. It was like one of those people that's like, will be very therapeutic to speak to for you. Cause no matter what you're going through, he brings um a very like shining, happy light to the conversation. Never. 
he never talks bad on anybody. He never, um, never was like that. He's somebody that had so much more greatness to show, but really kept a distance from battle rap because of the negativity that came with battle rap because he's not a negative person like that. He's a jokey person. He's a happy person. He was just getting into the lane that I feel like he truly wanted to get in with um, stepping outside of battle rap, doing more of a podcasty kind of thing on his channel. And like, you know, even, even what he was doing with the game situation, just trying to like branch out, knowing that he had more talent, a bigger calling for what he has to offer this world, saying that he wanted to change his ways and, and the way he was living. And, um, and now he's no longer here to do that. And if you take anything from that is you are here. So if you ever lost somebody, and you ever felt pain for someone who's no longer with us right now, I want y'all to understand that, um, you know, the best way to like show them love is to do something that they can't do, which is better yourself, which is make your life better, which is go for your goals and reach out for your dreams and put that best foot forward. And don't worry about the negativity that this life offers because that's what people want to do. They want to bring you down. They want to make fun of you. They want to see you at vulnerable positions and keep you there. They want to manipulate the mind and they want to be narcissist. They, they just want to do things like this to you. Now you can't let them because you only get one life. One of the tallest people in battle rap got his life cut short. A personality that soared across the rooms and people, this man has performed in front of the crowd that didn't know English and got and rocked the room with everything he said. Who does that? Paste did, cause energy, people read energy. Rest in peace, the sucker free boss. One of the greatest battle rappers to ever do it. One of the funniest people I ever met. It was a pleasure, man. I'll see you when I get there.